He made his name known to area basketball fans this season, averaging 15 points per game for the Charlotte Hornets. Kelly! Oh, my! Six in the corner! But to many people, Kelly Oubre Jr. is more well-known for who he is off the court. Kelly Oubre, if you are not familiar, is a very fashionable, avant-garde uh, Hornets player, and he's known for his game day looks. In other words, he's a fashionista of sorts. I love to be eccentric and I love the jewelry and accessories. With nearly two million Instagram followers, Kelly built quite a reputation for his style. Every day is a fashion show, man. Attending fashion weeks in the off season and even creating his own clothing and jewelry brand, Dope Soul. Hey, this right here, I was feeling real colorful. I created these shoes with Converse. So I wanted to just, you know, wear plaid all over. I'm an artist, man. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like to be categorized. I don't like to be put in a box, but at the end of the day, I do like to create art and I like to, you know, tie everything into uh, life. Wanting to combine fashion with education, the Hornets teamed up with DigiBridge, facilitating a multi-week 3D design and printing course for students at Governor's Village STEM Academy. DigiBridge is an education nonprofit that works to prepare students for the digital age in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. The middle schooler's task? create accessories such as bracelets, chains, and earrings for Kelly to wear on game days. So, you know, I'll style their accessories with my swag and, you know, I'll rock their stuff to the game and, you know, make sure that their stuff is seen by the world. Wanted to introduce you to the class that will be designing your game day um, accessories. Um, and then I guess I, I think a few of them have some follow-up questions for you. To get things started, the class held a virtual meeting with Kelly to learn about his style and inspiration and to get personal details such as his measurements, favorite color, materials and fabrics. First and foremost, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. You know, this is a big deal for me personally and for all of us because like we're all artists in this. Me and my classmates, um, when we first started this, we looked up things about him, like his fashion style, what he wears every day. I looked at websites about him, things like information, like I know he's 6'6". I pieced together through a bunch of websites a basic Thing about him. The students have been working on designs, they've been doing consultations, and um, you know, just failing along the way because 3D designing and modeling is really hard. And I'm um, really proud of their final products because of everything that they've gone through to get to this point. It's never perfect, but every time like I see an imperfection, I just know that the next time is going to be the best time. You know what I mean? After a month of trial and error, the students were finally done and presented their finished creations to Kelly during a school visit. When you decided like what you wanted to do with the, with the change, How'd you get this material and stuff right here? So I decided to make that. I decided to make that. I glued them together. Here mm -hmm. I glued the two together to fit. Mm -hmm. And here they're separate. Mm -hmm. it, look, it flows. I want you to know it looks really good. It came out really nice. So like, thank you for the thought. You know what I'm saying? And this is definitely like, you know, one of those pieces like you kind of just bet on yourself and your, your idea. And it, I love it. I was really at a, at a loss for words, man. You know, but one thing that I couldn't, I, I continued to ask each and every student was, you know, how how did you feel like you know throughout this whole creation process because I was just interested to see like the ups and downs that came with it because everything that you do is a process it's an ebb and flow it's always gonna be good and bad for the students it was a rare opportunity to work with a pro basketball player and get introduced to the idea of fashion and design as a potential career path we knew that 3d modeling and designing is a, uh, a key educational experience that's going to be really impactful in the future for a lot of different sectors and industries like medical, construction, technology. And so we really wanted to incorporate fashion and technology together. You know, I just love to bring people together, you know, for a bigger cause, man. It's, it's never about me. It's never about, you know, the next man. It's about the bigger picture. And for me, this, the next generation is the bigger picture. So. How you doing, love? To show his gratitude, Kelly invited the participating students to the Hornets' final home game of the season. For many, it was their first time seeing a game live. I wasn't even interested in basketball until now, so I didn't really know who he was. I did know the Hornets team did exist, though. I did know that. You did your thing, man. Thank you. Thank you. They may not have all known who he was before taking on this project, but they certainly know who Kelly Oubre Jr. is now. Thank you. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.